Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to share with you how to make this DIY toothpick holder because I actually really like working with toothpicks as setting tools for painting. It's really easy to add details. It has like the perfect size for creating dots. When I used to make realizing the creations, I used to work with uh, toothpicks before I just made other like dotting tools, but I stopped working with them because when I grab them, like the other end would just poke on my like finger. So I just wanted to create something to just make it easier. I'm going to be using personal clay and I honestly use this kind of clay all the time, but I really like it guys. I think it's handy to have, it's affordable for how much you get. When it dries, it kind of feels like plastic and you can paint it. I think it's one of the easiest materials to work with to create new shapes and it's really easy to work with it. It's like Play-Doh, but it hardens and you can actually use it. But if you prefer, you can use polymer clay for this as well. But I'm going to be taking this much and I'm going to be uh, first rolling it into a well tiny sausage I think before I get into the shape that I want I'm just going to be placing a toothpick in there making a hole and I'm just going to keep on rolling my clay with my toothpick in there and since I'm inspired by back to school I'm just going to be working on the shape to just kind of make it this look like a pencil but yeah once I'm happy with the shape that I got I'm just going to let it dry but before this fully dries since I want to be able to place different toothpicks to just place new ones as I use them make this interchangeable if you will i just want to make sure that my toothpick that i have in there doesn't stick to the clay because if you let it dry with the toothpick in there it's going to dry with the toothpick uh like stuck there i'm just going to be taking my toothpick out and then placing it in again so i can have a hole to just place new toothpicks as i need them if you're working with polymer clay place your toothpick remove it and then just bake it it will uh, bake uh, with a gap or the hole in there if that makes any sense at all, I hope it does. Once it's dry, I'm just going to be painting this with my white acrylic paint, my brush. And this is just going to be creating a, like a clear canvas for what I want. And this is how I'm letting it dry in a piece of um, block of foam. I just went online, search for like what pencil I wanted to go for. As you can see, you have many colors. Some of them are a bit more orange and some of them are a bit more yellow. For me, I went for this orange and yellow acrylic paint and I just mix those two until I have like the shape that I want. I'm going to be covering this, uh, not covering the edges, just leaving them white and then giving this a couple of coats and letting it dry in between coats. For the part on the bottom, like the pointy part that uh, pencils have, it's kind of like a beigey tone. So I'm just going to be mixing my brown acrylic paint that I did myself. And it's on the cards if you want to check it out. And some white. I'm just going to be painting that part. For my eraser part, I'm just going to be using this paint and this white acrylic paints and I'm going to be making a lighter version of that paint pretty much and just you know paint that part and then for the silver part I'm going to be using the silver acrylic paint and my brush I'm just going to uh, paint that part like that it's like one stripe and just to add more sparkle I'll just use this glitter silver giving this a couple of coats until it's like shiny because I want this to be like fine and sparkly then I'm going to add the glaze gloss by Sculpey to everything except the eraser part well, I guess not everything, but you know what I mean, just from the silver part towards the bottom part. Just because I don't want the eraser part to be shiny. But yeah, guys, this is pretty much the dining tool for toothpicks that I want to share with you. If you use your toothpicks to paint or just to add details, and this way you can grab your toothpick easier use it like from both sides place a new one whenever you are done just place it like this and i really hope you like it as much as i did if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more of easy diys that i have on my channel subscribe for more let me know what you think of this one and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye